Hi there, in this video series, I'm gonna show you how to use all of Elementor's free widget elements. It's the number one page builder for WordPress in the world, and you can get it by going to dualfox.com forward slash Elementor. There you'll be able to download the free Elementor plugin. It's gonna let you build a beautiful WordPress website, and I'm gonna show you exactly how. So please do like the videos, subscribe to the channel, and now without any further ado, let's get straight to it and dive on in. If you want to embed SoundCloud onto WordPress, then Elementor really makes it very, very easy. So the first thing that we want to do is come on up to the search bar in our widgets toolbar, uh, search for SoundCloud, and then click and drag it on into the page. That's gonna make this appear up here. Now, what you wanna do is paste your link just in here. So if I come up and search for David Bowie on SoundCloud, come on in. You can search for the song that you actually want. So for example, this one, copy the URL link, come on over and then paste this up here. And then that's gonna appear here on the page. And they obviously have a massive library or if it's your own uh, content that you're wanting to upload, just put the URL in there and that's gonna make it appear. I've deleted it now by mistake, hang on a sec. Put it back in. Now, this is the default view, uh, but what we can do is come down here to Visual Player. If we turn this to Yes, it's going to make it look like that. And now if we preview it, it's obviously that much bigger on the page. And you've got lots of information down here. So you've got the comments, uh, users, you've got the ability to share. Uh, you can also buy tracks if that's an option uh, from the artist and the album. And you can control all of that down here. So for example, whether you wanted to autoplay when somebody visits the site, naturally if you've got lots of tracks on there, you wouldn't want to do that. But if you just have the one, then it's possible. I'm going to put this back to its default view. But you can turn off the information that you don't want. So for example, over here, we've got the play counts. If I turn that off, that's then disappeared. And you can do the same. We can turn off the comments. We can even turn off the artwork if we want to. So you can style this up how you like it. I'm going to leave it all on though. And the last thing you can do down here is change the color of our little icon up here. So if we didn't want it to be red, if we wanted it to be green, select the color you want and that's automatically gonna change it over for you. And that's pretty much it. There's, there's no advanced styling on this option. One of the rare widgets that doesn't have the, uh, the styling tab, but you don't really need it, obviously. What you can do is come under the advanced section and if you wanted to have a background color, you can do that. We can put in a gradient, for example. And then when we've done that, we just need to come up to advanced and obviously give it some padding so that we can see it. You can also unlink the padding as you can with other widgets. So at the moment, I've also uh, slightly reduced this because we're getting the padding around the edges. If I unlink it, I can then increase the top and the bottom separately. And that way we're going to get more space there and there and keep a smaller amount of space around the sides. So let's update that and take a look. So that's okay. One thing you might want to do though is obviously stretch this from side to side. So if we wanted to do that, come on up to your section settings just up here, go under layout to stretch section, turn that on and change the content width to full width. And now if we update and preview those changes, we see that it's going from edge to edge, which I think looks a lot nicer. Finally, you're not uh, limited to just having the one column. You can of course create several. So we could have three, for example, and then just come up to your toolbar widget. Once again, SoundCloud, click and drag, bring it on in. When you've done that, right click, copy, right click, paste, right click, paste. And now if we update and preview the changes, we see that it's obviously reduced it down. Some of the detail is lost though, now that we've done it across the different columns. So that's why it's quite useful. You might want to remove uh, some of the information that's being shown on those so that it's not all too cramped. We might want to get rid of the artwork, for example, when we've got them like this. Uh, and the final thing that you want to check, however you design it, is what it looks like on a tablet and also what it looks like on mobile. Again, just make sure that everything is how you want it to be. For example, all of this looks great because Elementor does a fantastic job with its widgets of making them uh, responsive right from the start. But what I've done here now with the padding looks really strange on mobile. So for this, I would obviously want to go back into it I want to bring the padding back just by unlinking the values. We could obviously get rid of the background color as well if we wanted to. Um, but when you're getting rid of these padding values, it is only doing it up here on the mobile. So if we head on back over to the desktop, it's still exactly as we had it. So you're not losing that design there. 
And that is it. SoundCloud's obviously a fantastic platform for sharing music. And if that's what you're wanting to embed onto your site, then Elemental makes it super easy for you. Hope that helps. Any questions, as always, post them on in the comments. And stick around for the next video in this playlist where we're looking at how to use all of the widgets in Elemental's library.